Greetings, you mighty champion. I'm Pastor Glenn Curry, and we're finding out about the supernatural life of favor that God gives to us when we receive Jesus as Lord. Now, unfortunately, most people don't believe God for favor. There's just some people we think that, that have favor on their life and doors open to them automatically and because they're, they look so good that people go out of their way to help them. Well, that is true. That's really true. People show favoritism to beautiful people. But if you're like me, you're gonna to have to believe for favor, all right? I wanna to talk to you about favor. And I want you to know that favor is your victory in battle. When you appropriate the favor that God has for you, your enemies are gonna be defeated. Now, I want you to know that your enemy is not necessarily a person. Your enemy could be discouragement or lack or insufficiency or sickness or any of those things that uh, attack you and try to make you less than who Jesus came to make you and give you life more abundantly, John 10.10. 10. But in, um, in Psalm 41.10, I'm pretty sure, it says, this I know that you favor me because my enemies never triumph over me, okay? So our enemies never triumph over us because God has favored us. That means we win in battle. One translation say, says, my enemies never raise a shout of victory over me, or a shout over me, it says, and I added a victory. They can't shout the victory because you're the one with the favor. You're the one that wins because God is with you. God is for you. God is your defense. God favors you, right? In the New Testament, the apostles that wrote the books start out the 17 books in the New Testament with grace and peace be multiplied to you through the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. 17 books start that way. Grace and peace be multiplied. As it turns out, the word grace and favor are exactly the same Greek words. And if you have your, the Strong's Concordance on your phone, you can touch the word grace and it's going to say one of the words that could have been translated was favor. Okay, Grace and peace and favor can be multiplied to you. Did you hear that? Multiplied to you. It's not some have it and some don't. It can be multiplied to you through more knowledge of God's love for you and what Jesus did for you. Whatever your current enemy is, and remember, it could be a sickness or a disease or poverty or lack or depression or anxiety, worry, whatever it is, God's favor will help you overcome it. Because God has respect unto you, because God favors you and honors you, Leviticus 29, 26, 9 says that, God said, he that touches you or harms you or comes against you, touches the apple or the pupil of God's eye in Zechariah 3, 8. And so God is an enemy to your enemies. God goes with you to fight for you against your enemies to save you. Isn't that great? Deuteronomy 20, verse 4, God blesses those who bless you. And that's what it said in Deuteronomy 20, verse 4, that God goes with you to fight for you. Now in Genesis 12, 3, God told Abraham, and Abraham's blessings are yours from Romans 4 and Galatians 3, it's God told Abraham, I will bless those that bless you, but I'll curse those that curse you. That's favor. God favors you. And I'm, it, I'm seeming like I'm trying to talk you into it. But I, as you see the evidence through these lessons, your faith is going to rise like a thermometer on a hot day. And although maybe you don't see it working in your life yet, as you practice these favor principles and believe what God said, doors are going to start opening to you. When a man's ways please the Lord, Proverbs uh, 16, 7 says, he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. So stop thinking strife and conflict. Think favor. Think peace. God's favor on your life makes even your enemies to be at peace with you. God wants you to live in, in peace. Faith works best in an atmosphere of peace. So you've got to have peace in order to really have effective faith. So God's enemies or your enemies are at peace with you because your ways please the Lord. Thoughts are the beginning of reality. You've got to know that. Think thoughts of favor, not failure. What you think about, you bring about. Meditate God's word, especially in the area of love and favor on your life, and that's going to bring you positive results for sure. 
Your life is controlled by the things that you instill into your spirit through your thought life. Think favor, think success, think that God is with you, God is for you, God is your defense. You can't go under for going over. See yourself walking in great favor through the eyes of your faith, see that, and then live it out. Talk it into reality through of affirmations and repetition. Grace, favor, and peace is multiplied to me through the knowledge of Jesus Christ, which I'm getting day by day, 2 Peter 1, verse 2. God wants to multiply favor and, and your current experience to something bigger than it's ever been before. Allow the revelation of favor to destroy all the insecurities and fears and poor self-image and all that stuff that had been holding you back in the past. Since God favors you, since God has respect unto you, what was it, Leviticus 26, 9, okay, uh, you have no business disrespecting yourself. Grace and favor and honor and peace is being multiplied in you and to you if you'll only believe it. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to love you and speak increase into your life. And one of the ways of increase is favor. Stand on God's word. Let the way that God views you be your way of viewing yourself. Live expecting favor to change your life, to get you out of the disappointments and into success. With God's grace and favor extended to you, success has to materialize before your eyes. Believe it, receive it. God highly favors you. Now, in the book of Acts, it says there was no poor among the early believers, uh, for the word of God says great grace, which we know is the word favor, same word in the Greek, was upon them all, neither was, them, neither was there among them any that lacked, Acts 4, verse 33 and 34. So, there was no lack. Praise Jesus. I don't want lack in my life. I had an apple out of that barrel, and I'd rather have every need met. How about you? Favor is a gift from God that will contribute to your prosperity, to God prospering you. The Bible says in Proverbs 22, 1, that favor is to be chosen above silver and gold. So favor is greater than both silver and gold because favor can produce silver and gold. With favor, great material wealth can come forth into your life. The Bible says God is able, and I like to say uh, Cain killed Abel 6,000 years ago, don't say God's able, say God's willing. God is willing to make all grace, every favor, every earthly blessing come to you in abundance so that you may always, under all circumstances and whatever the need, be self-sufficient. Talking about in God's sufficiency, that's 2 Corinthians 9, 8 in the Amplified Bible. If you have that you Bible, look up some of the different translations for 2 Corinthians 9, 8, and you're gonna see, man, God is with you big time. Earthly blessings that will make you self-sufficient in the very sufficiency of God comes to you through favor. That's what God said. That's 2 Corinthians 9, 8, Amplified Bible. I'm Pastor Glenn. Remember, faith, faith and favor are gonna open great doors of blessing to you. Please follow and subscribe below. Comment and say, God highly favors me or the favor of God's on my life. Do something, do an act to show that you're starting the process of favor in your life. Use your faith, have a great attitude, believe for favor, and make a great day in Jesus' name.